The Mets salvaged the final game of their three-game set with the Cardinals on Sunday with a thrilling 4-2 victory in 11 innings. So let's talk some Mets baseball. We're going to do it with the host of the Subway to Shea podcast, my guy, Anthony Rivera, who joins me now. Anthony, what's going on? Uh, breathing a sigh of relief after that uh, very, I, I want to say, emotional win uh, for the Mets. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This this was an emotional one for the Mets and their fans. One the Mets needed, which we will get into. And, yeah. look, anytime you can get a thrilling win, you will take it. So let's start with the hero of Sunday's game, Anthony. That would be Mark Vientos. Vientos singled as a pinch hitter in the ninth inning. Then he hit a walk-off, two-run homer in the 11th in just his second day in the majors this season. How big was this home run for Vientos, and how huge was it for the Mets to avoid the sweep here this weekend? Uh, yeah, the Mets needed to avoid the sweep because uh, they have just been struggling this whole weekend with runners in scoring position. The fact that they were able to just come out with the win there and, you know, bring aside the relief because they have a long week ahead of them is just what the doctor ordered. And uh, Mark Vientos, I don't know about you, but kind of giving up those vibes as 2015 Wilmer Flores there kind of reminded me of that, that home run. And Vientos needed it. The Mets needed it. Uh, Vientos coming up because of the whole Starling Marte being put on. Uh, bereavement list don't know what is to come but it was nice to see him hit that home run Mets are now 14 and 13 and I'll take that going into this uh, big series against the Cubs a four game series yeah huge series and we're going to get to that later with the Mets a game over 500 right now on the season through 27 games now I want to talk about the starting pitching here he didn't get the win but Jose Quintana he delivered a strong start eight innings of three hit ball what did you like with what you saw from the lefty on the mound on Sunday what you just said, eight innings. We haven't gotten eight innings from a starting pitcher in a long time. I don't know if we got eight innings all season last year either. So for Jose Quintana to do what he did, I like that he bounced back from his worst outing of the season against the Giants. He's been steady. He's been reliable since donning the blue and orange. And I like that he fought to stay in the game and that Carlos Mendoza let him finish. You know, he played the eye test and saw that he had enough pitches in the tank to finish off the batter. Coincident, uh, co a confidence booster I gotta say uh, not only for Quintana with the fact that Mendoza trusted him but this is good for the rest of the staff to know that if you pitch well you will be rewarded and Carlos Mendoza did just that with Jose Quintana got rewarded in the Mets they needed some innings some length out of their starters they've been needing that lately and they get that there with Quintana's start on Sunday now you mentioned this Anthony the Mets are going to start a four-game series with the Cubs this week before traveling to Tampa Bay for three games next weekend. What will you be keeping your eye on with the Mets who are going to play 10 games over the next 10 days? I mentioned it briefly in the first question. It's the runners in scoring position. You look at what happened this weekend. One for 16 today. Uh, one for seven on Saturday. Two for 11 on Friday. The Mets need to hit better with runners in scoring position. I know a lot of their top stars have been struggling and have not been able to come through with the big hit, but they at some point, you know, we're on it's April 28th. At some point, this has to kick in if this team is going to take off and, you know, put themselves in playoff contention. They got a good, solid group of Cubs starters they're going against Jameson Tyone, Javier Assad, Shota Imanaga, and Ben Brown. So the Mets need to definitely get their batting in order. And for the starters, they need to feed off of what Jose Quintana did today and, you know, get themselves throwing more pitches and, and, and getting in these games deeper because they need to rest this bullpen, which has been brilliant all season long. Bullpen has been strong, but as I said, a tough stretch coming up for the Mets. Ten games over their next ten days. Real quick, Anthony, I forgot to ask you this. We got to see the City Connect jerseys this weekend on the players for the first time. What did you think about seeing them on Saturday at City Field? I love them. Uh, you know, you always get a different feel for it when you actually see it on the players. So it looked very nice to me, uh, ver like crisp, clean fresh uh not too much going on but it was just enough and just seeing the whole stadium filled with the purple the gray the the asphalt gray and the black was very nice and uh, i had my jacket i had my hat my jersey i'm still waiting for i ordered it but i'm still waiting for that to come in all right they got to send that quickly i'm glad you like it i'm glad you were representing with the hat and the jacket city connect jerseys i think they're a pretty good look we'll see how the mets look over the next week right now as anthony said they're 14 and 13 through 27 games that is anthony rivera of the subway to shape podcast go check that out anthony as always good to talk some mets baseball with you thank you sir thank you so much dexter